So Aaron Rodgers, apparently in a golf interview, said that he's not going to the San Francisco 49ers. I thought that was a very far-fetched and very speculative take in the first place. Um, And it's simple. I mean, Brock Purdy got hurt in that game, but he was playing really well. The 49ers traded three first-round picks and invested incredible amounts of capital to get Trey Lance. Trey Lance really hasn't had any opportunity um, due to injury to prove that he's going to be sensational or if he's a complete bust or if he's somewhere in the middle. So he's a huge question mark, tremendous question mark. And Brock Purdy looked really solid running that offense Um, to think that the Niners would, first of all, already don't have a first round pick. I mean, I think their first pick is 97 in the draft. Um, barely have the draft capital to get Aaron Rodgers. And that would leave them. I mean, if they traded next year, now you're just completely leaving the pipeline empty of young players, which is just a recipe for disaster. Um, but then there's the question of salary cap. I mean, this is a team that just paid Debo a tremendous amount of money. Um, this is a team that um, now has Christian McCaffrey, who I'm sure costs money. Um, uh, Kittle costs money. Um Bosa, uh, yeah, their offensive line. I, I mean, they got some guys in there. I mean, there's a salary cap. And again, the 49ers um, have not been a team that is going to do crazy moves um, and build a ca- salary cap hell in two years where it all falls apart. Um, they've built this team, kind of like JG's building, building the Jets, to be more of a long-sustaining team. Now, this could, you know, if Aaron Rodgers went to the Niners and said, explain it, I would say, well, I guess they're going all in. They're risking the whole thing, meaning it's a gamble when you do that because you're going to pay a whole bunch of money, give up a whole bunch of draft capital. And what you're saying is we want the ring. We're going to get the ring and we're not going to worry about what it does to the future. And if it and if we get the ring, then nobody will complain. We'll do a rebuild. We might stink for a couple of years and we're going to have to start over again. Um. But that's not what I expected. And apparently Aaron Rodgers says he's not going there, which leaves still other teams in the market for quarterback, a lot of them. But the Jets, the New York Jets, have been the favorites to land Aaron Rodgers even before um, they signed Nathaniel Hackett. Aaron Rodgers is not saying. I think the most likely scenario, if you base it on the last few years that we – this is every offseason – um, continues to be that his most likely spot is going to be on the Green Bay Packers. Um, but there's a lot of speculation. Um, I'll believe it is fact when Ian Rappaport reports it, but so far he hasn't. So it's all speculative. There's a lot of speculation that this is different because that Green Bay is ready to move on, that Aaron Rodgers is ready to move on, and that they're doing it amicably. Did I mess that word up? Amicably. So that would leave the Jets as the favorite to land them if that's true. Um, the other the other challenge in all this is time because there's a guy named Derek Carr and there's going to be a race to sign him. And the big question becomes, are the Jets, if they have not landed a deal or you know they don't have any tentative deal or nothing in place for Aaron Rodgers and no guarantee that Aaron Rodgers wants to come to the Jets are the Jets really going to let that opportunity for Derek Carr pass them by because then if the Aaron Rodgers things doesn't happen the only thing that leaves is Jimmy G and I know a lot of Jets fans do not want that scenario they do not want Jimmy G well guess what after that the pickings are very slim And there's a few Jet fans that will support any player. I want Gary Minshew. Some even still want Mike White while Zach Wilson develops. Some want Geno Smith. I mean, it's scattered out there. There's no one opinion that's going to get the support of all Jet fans. And every Jet fan thinks they are 100% right. And they know exactly what's right for this team. (laughs) Of course, nobody knows. And everything is just gut and feel. But there's a reason Joe Douglas gets paid the big money. There's There's a reason. They're trusting in him that he's going to lead the organization to the right path. Um, so how much does it affect the Jets? Well, there was speculation he was going to the Niners. That's one team you can cross off the list. We think, I mean, 
I think that's pretty verified. I, he said it in an interview on a golf course. <laughs> At least it's better than a lot of the stuff out there where it's just invented and there's it's based on nothing but pure speculation. I mean, if Aaron Rodgers actually said this, and I'm sure it's on video or on tape or recorded, then he's not going to end up somewhere he doesn't want to be. If you like this video, hit the like button. You can hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, go, 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 go.